saved from death by Carlos Carlos's valiant efforts, Jill has awoken to the news that a missile is set to destroy Raccoon City. The only way they might be able to stop this missile strike is to obtain a vaccine. Jill resolved to set off after Carlos and soon made her way to an underground facility run by Umbrella. Wow, I actually read it before the loading started. Imagine that. Hello everyone, this is GamerCat09 and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. Jill's alive, we are scratched up, but we are here. We're good. We're golden. What are we doing? What do we have? Oh yeah, we got a magnum. That's right. We have a magnum now. Do we have any shotgun shells? We do have shotgun shells. Um... Let's take some shotgun shells with us because I have a feeling we're going to be running into a lot of hunters. So, um, ah, God, I wish I didn't miss so many hip pouches because now I'm getting fucked. Oh, there's more magnum ammo. Let's take some of that. Fill up on that. Okay. We'll leave the grenade launcher there for now. I think we'll just take what we have. And hopefully that's enough. And this is still blue. Okay, so last time we saved Jill, we explored the hospital, and we got everything. And now Tyrell is telling us to go after Carlos because... There's a missile about to strike Raccoon City and we're all going to die. So no rush, but oh, wait, wait. We have to go. Yes, this way. And there was nothing here. We missed a hip pouch with Carlos. It's It's been a, a bad day. So, I'm just going to take, that's a lot of bodies. And I love how he's still like that. It's amazing. All right. Let's head down below. So this is, if we're comparing to the original, we're like right at the end of the game. Oh good, you didn't make me regret bringing my, uh, good. I was like, don't regret me bringing my, um, I can't even think of the word, knife. Why? Why am I having a hard time figuring out the word knife? Oh, that just circles back around. Here I'm thinking there's like another section. Okay. I have a feeling we're going to get hit by hunters. But I'm also not 100% sure. These are umbrella trucks. Wow, oh, this must be the way underground. Yeah, that's my guess. Got an explosive, so I can make acid rounds. I think this... Well, we'll hang on to this and see what happens. That was literally all that was down here. Hmm. This looks like a giant elevator. Over there. Um... No way up there. That's a giant truck on this elevator. Whoa!
what's going to come out and get me? Nothing? Okay. How is it no one in the hospital ever noticed all this? Right? Asking the real questions. I'm going to turn my volume up a little bit. That looks important. I'm going to wait on that for a moment. Uh, there's a green herb that I want. Can I combine these? No. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not getting that green herb, am I? I guess that's going to just wait here because I don't have enough shit for it. Does this lower that? I think so. Why is everything going smoothly? I hate it. I like it and I hate it. But I feel like there should be a little bit more of a struggle to get to where I need to go. Hmm. Look at that. Oh, yes. Thank you, God. I need you. Elevator notice. To all employees, we've identified an issue with the electrical box where concurrent use of heavy machinery overloads it and causes the fuses to blow. If you encounter this problem and can't get the elevator running, please stay calm. Gather fuses from the sub generators situated around the warehouse and use those to restore power from the main generator as quickly as possible. Okay, so... So fuses blow if you encounter this problem. Gather fuses from the sub-generators and restore the power from the main generator. So this is kind of like the last part of Resident Evil 3 where like she had to push the things in. I think that's kind of a revised version of this. Which I'm totally cool with. Okay, so that's a door, and this is a door. There's a lot of ways to go. So let's, um, store that, store this. Yes, Tricell is another cover name for Umbrella. So that should, let me move that there and then this there. That should be good. Okay. <laughs> Chris, I'm with Umbrella, get shot. <laughs> Yep. All right, so. I kind of want to go back down and get that green herb before I forget about it. There we go. Okay, so which which way, guys? Left or right? Assuming nothing is locked. Should go that way or that way? Oh, we got two on left, one on right. Oh. 
Oh, it is locked. Well, the left, the left ones were wrong, so we're going right. <laughs> I thought that was a zombie. Ooh. Hey, isn't this the same area? Oh, Nikolai. Isn't this the same area that is in the, um... Resistance map? Perhaps? Can I shoot you from here? I'm just gonna grab that for a second. I don't think I want to jump off the thing. I think I want to, like, casually... Oh, no, I can't. Because these are all in the way. <laughs> That's why they're going to have me jump off the thing. Okay. Can't do anything with that. Zombies look pretty dead, but are they? Do zombies ever look pretty dead? Let's find out. A douche! A douche! A douche? Oh, okay. Oh God! Really? I must admit, I respect your tenacity, but I'm afraid our games end here. Ugh, you think this is over? Okay, so we need three fuses. Oh, suddenly these work now. Do you have a wiener? I can't tell. I'm fascinated by your wiener. Or lack of, rather. He's a little persistent dude, isn't he? fast without clothes on. I'm trying to aim for your head and you have... Oh, God. Shoot you in the... God damn. Okay. You're sensitive in the wiener area. I'm wasting a lot of ammo on this guy. Can I take out your legs? Will you fall? Alright, I'm getting sick of doing this. Why are you still alive? Can you not die? Is- is- Okay. I don't think he can die, guys. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck! Oh, you're- <laughs> Quickly! How's my health? Okay. Okay. Well. I want to get these first. Ok. 
Okay. I have one. Okay, so there's going to be more of these guys. And I feel like they are a waste of time. So, I guess I got to be careful and dodge. There's another- oh, Jesus. Oh, really? Oh, fucking hell! Oh, that's not fair. Oh my god. Okay, so... Uh... Shit. Oh, that's not fair. That's not- Oh, oh, oh! That's really not fair. Come on, you little puppy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Jesus Christ. Did they come out of the thing here? Is that why I got distracted? I think so. Alright. There's another thing. Looks like I need to go around. I don't want to go up yet. I think I want to go around. Um. If I can- ah! Why is everything doing that? Oh good. Are you a regular zombie? Can you stay down, maybe? Okay. Oh, a dead end. No, wait. Oh. Okay. Making sure. There's a red herb there. Would have been nice if I wasn't dying, and then I could have mixed it with my green, but you know, death. Also, I only have the green herb now, so that fucking sucks. So let me do that before I go up here. Oh, there's a door. Oh, there's ammo up there. Hmm. I think I want the ammo before I... Before I go into that next room up here, if I can. a lot of handgun ammo. Is there a zombie over there? I can't tell. Oh shit, there's a naked one. Oh, I was trying to dodge. You suck. Do 
Do I have health in here? Of course I don't. Why would I? Store that. They remind me of Fallout ghouls. <laughs> okay. I know I am dying. I'm going to save in a new spot. Just in case. Can I take this? I can't take it as is. Thank you. Okay, that room's good. I can go up here. Oh! Thank you, Artico! Thank you for the bits, and yes, I know it is too quiet in here. Also. I feel like I missed one. No, I, I don't, because it's on the other side. Yeah, I, I'm so far okay. Gunpowder. Okay. I'm trying to figure out... Okay, this is a wall, so I would have to go over there. This leads me down to where the dogs were. Okay. Just trying to get my bearings, you know? I don't trust this, though. Looks like something's gonna break out of there. I'm gonna die. it. No, come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, God, that was close. Okay. Cool. You guys can stay over there. Because there's a wall, so you guys can't get to me, right? Oh, I can't even bring this down, can I? Nope. This is just permanently stuck up. Unless... Oh wait, did I hit this? Yeah, I brought it up. I'm so confused. So I can't go down, or can I? No, I can't. I guess I just brought it up so that way I could go over there and down. I guess that was the only point of it. something here. What's this? 
shell holder for the shotgun. What is this? Custom part for the M3 shotgun that allows for faster reload speeds. Hallelujah. Very nice. I will take it. So... What's this way? I don't think I was able to go this way. There's a zombie here. don't have all of them. I could put some of them in, though. I have a feeling that's not going to keep him down. These guys took a lot of bullets. Okay. Missing one. How do I get to it? Taking it cautiously, as cautiously as we can. I'm trying to, like, walk around the dead body. Because I don't want to activate him in case he's not really dead. Over there. But how do I get there? Oh. I came that way. Wait. I gotta go. Okay. I gotta go up here. If I can survive. I don't know. Okay, he's still down. Hopefully he stays down. Let's save one more time. In a new spot. But let me... Drop off this. Okay. So I gotta go... Oh, I can't go down those. Huh. That's blocked off too. What the fuck? How do I get over there? Oh. Hmm. 
Wait. I gotta get up there somehow. How do I get up there? I have to get up here somehow, but I don't know how. Shouldn't be this hard. But it is. Like, Jill, can't you just, like, climb over this? Pretty please? There doesn't seem to be any immediate way to connect to that. We should just take Jill and push her somewhere else. <laughs> Adventures of the Half-Dead Jill. Absolutely. Alright, let's try to go back the other way. I have saved, so... At least if... At least if I die, I can come back and... I will be in this... State where I have the three fuses in there already. Okay, so I can't go over here, even though I totally could. So let's go up here. I'm thinking I missed a path somewhere that's not so obvious to me. I gotta go over here. But how do I do that? Can I just climb that? I do not know. Oh, oh, there's a path. Here it is. Hello, Angel. Happy Tuesday. I knew I was missing something. No, wait. This just leads me here. Okay. So is there a path like that, but somewhere else? Because that's not the path I need. See, right here. All this black stuff I can't get on or get to. It's really weird. Charlie doll? Oh, you're right. Oh, shit! I wasn't even paying attention to the noise of it. Thank you. And then I'll die and then forget that I got that and where I got it. Okay. How do we get over there? How do we get up there? Can I just climb the scaffolding, the the shelves? Wouldn't that be great? Can I climb this? No.
Can I go in here? Can I go up here? In between here? That ladder just takes me up. Can I climb up here? No. What the frick? Not even going in here will help me because... Because, yeah. I can hear the monsters on the other side, though. Can I see them? No. What the frick? Oh, wait. Hold on. I might have found a way that I just didn't see before. No. I can't go over here. There's no ladder up there, right? There's a way to jump down, but there isn't a way to get up. Because that's where I came from, right? Yeah. But I need to get over there. How do I get over there? <laughs> Look at them. And there's like nothing... I don't even think there's anything over there that I need. I was just... It was just a diversion. What the fuck? He's gone. Because that just takes me over here, and I can't hop these boxes to jump down. I literally need to get right there. <laughs> Use your hook shot. <laughs> Think logically. You opened another path to safe room. Imagine there was a purpose for that. Hmm. Maybe there is something else? No, that room's blue. Unless there's like... Something on the wall to hit? Oh, there's a door there. I'm a fucking idiot. There's a fucking door here! I'm an idiot. And after spending all that time, something's going to drop down on me and I'm going to die. Okay, I still have... Oh, fucking hell. <sighs> See? See? <laughs> Almost! Almost. How he avoided me? 
I have no idea. It will never happen again. The next thing that hits me will kill me. Alright, here it goes. Alright, everybody. Don't come and attack me or kill me because I'm going to run to the area where the fuses are. So please don't hurt me. Alright? Okay? Are we good? We're gonna save. And then I'm gonna... Drop that off. Three, <laughs> yeah, the three zombies will stand up. I'm just keeping my shotgun. I've saved. So I have I have the fuses. If all else fails, I can just start from here. Okay, everybody, stay down now. No, oh, god damn it. No, stop. No, no. Dead. Ooh. I have never seen that. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, apparently that's what happens. <laughs> Let's never experience that again. Um, I don't want to waste all of those. So I think... I think what I'm going to do... Let's try something. Jump down. Run to the left. Start this thing up. And then... Get in here. Get in here. Get in- Ah! Oh! oh shit! No, I'm dead. Am I still alive? How? That shouldn't have worked. <sighs> yes, let's pursue Nikolai. Let's 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 pursue it. Is there herbs up here? Shit, he got away. What was he doing in here? Let's find out. Oh, there's a box. Herb? You're not an herb, but I'll take you. Custom part for the 44 AEL Hawk. This bull barrel reduces recoil and imparts extra speed to bullets increasing damage. I'll take you. Very nice. Okay, that's a thing. Um. <sighs> I feel like I should probably take some extra stuff with me. Maybe finally store the knife and then take this with me. A and B makes flame rounds. So yeah, let's uh, bring more flame rounds. And then, because I have a feeling we're going to have a fight coming up. You know what I mean? 
So... I'll at least take this for now. Because I have, I have no more shotgun. I could probably make some shotgun shells. Because I have 14 magnum. But I think I want a little bit more shotgun shells. And we're going to save in a new spot. One hip pouch per character missed and one weapon upgrade missed. Not too bad. We have no need for herbs. Jill's invincible. Yeah, I wish I felt that way, though. Unfinished activity log. 926, 1300, infiltrated RC disturbances are sporadic. Commencing mission, 1930, observed five RPD officers engaging a PAX 20 strong, officers annihilated in 20 minutes. 927, 1200, test run at university, diverted PAC in, in INCL canines to campus, 64% infection and conversion in two hours, no survivors, 2300. Successful rendezvous with MV Platoon will make first attempt at dawn. 928-0430. Diverted pack toward command post. Result night skirmish in confined area with large number of combatants. Video attached. 800. End of skirmish. Seven survivors. 1800. Unknown bioweapon deployed at point D18. Tracking it per orders. It appears to be on the hunt. 2000. God eyes on two stars, a male infected and female. Bioweapon is pursuing the female. 929. Zero hours. Female JV, which is Jill Valentine, I'm assuming, has made contact with MV Platoon. Bioweapon's appearance and behavior are consistent with Project N investigating. 400. Observed bioweapon wielding conventional weapons. It seems to be strongly fixated on terminating JV and knows the city layout. Evidence it can be imprinted. 700. Metamorphosis in the bioweapon triggered by a hostile encounter with JV. Video attached. JV has been infected and is non-responsive. Collected samples per orders. So Nikolai was taking samples of Jill Valentine while she was unconscious laying there dying. What an asshole. 930. 30 hours. Over 17 hours have elapsed since JV's exposure to virus conversion has been slow, suggesting she may be resistant. 400. Vaccine recovered and administered to JV by CO, which is Carlos. I think his last name is Olivia? Oliviera? Oliverus? Carlos Oliv... Oliv Carlos Oliv Olivier, I believe. A soldier in MV platoon, JV expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post-exposure. It seems clear the bioweapon is Project N. Contact with JV causes it to change and evolve. Will induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. My god. Tyrell! Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Oh. They'll call out the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. Tyrell, do you have an herb? I, I kind of need an herb. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Yeah, and can I have some of it? Because I'm dying. Oh yeah, this is my running. <laughs> right? You don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. You sure about that? I'm the dying one right now. Let's get this done.
I'm just waiting for Jill to like just faint. <laughs> just die from standing. <laughs> Oh! And I'm dead. Nope, we're not. Bye, Tyrell. I can't run. I, I, I legitimately cannot run. Oh, thank you, God. <laughs> he got Lewis. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you. The game's like, you know what? You're dying. Yeah, I would love... Oh, is this vaccine? Are you spraying vaccine on me? No, you're not. Okay, so... I need a key. This, I don't know. Let's go here first since we're here. Maybe this is a. Uh... Oh, good. Do you ha Oh, thank you, Lord! Da 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 Ah, oh, it feels so good, guys. You have no idea. But I have no health, so that's a problem. Oh, got high-grade gunpowder, though. And let's read this. Nest 2 employee regulations. Attention Nest 2 employees. The objectives of this T-virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main nest facility. Here we focus on real-world... Real-world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. Nest map, nest two map. So we're in the nest. I wonder if it'll connect with like what's happening in Resident Evil 2, like we'll just come out of the hive area. Okay, so that's blue. Good. Um, <laughs> we're still good. We can store that. Okay. I think we're okay as is, so we can save in a new spot. Fun fact about the achievement, if I'm not mistaken, then this nemesis's nickname is the Pursuer. Oh, interesting. Um, yes, Angel, I do plan on playing this additionally. Like, I'd like to try hardcore mode. So I do play. Um, plan on playing more, and I plan on playing Resistance and everything. So, okay. Boy, that doesn't look fishy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Put some good headshots on her. Okay, that's... Oh. 
Very nice. Go, go, go. I would like you very much. Oh! Isaac Graves' diary! The pay was generous, the benefits were good, most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a university teacher stuck working in Nowhere America, it was a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery, so I went for it. I made the pitch to my family and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is 2020 because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know, but every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job. Do as I'm told for their sake. But let this be testament that I do have a conscience and that I've learned my lesson. But unfortunately, too late. Because it's not enough to save you. This is all blue. Okay, there's a zombo over there. Let's see if I can carefully. Oh, there's a zombo over there, too. Hmm. Trying to carefully plan this out. Oh, it's not letting me walk around. That's for the vaccine, I believe. There's a piece of paper. Essay on vaccine synthesis. On the roles of antigens and adjuvants in vaccine synthesis. Dr. Nathaniel Bard. Oh yeah, the jerk. Chief researcher, Spencer Memorial Hospital. To most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant are required. The antigen provide, produces an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses, leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than a thousand times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. Nice. There's two zombos. All right. Let's see. He's going to grab me. Or not. One of these guys might get me. What's this for? Is this for the vaccine? To begin vaccine synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. I don't... I don't have materials. Synthesis? I have to make it myself? <sighs> Alright, gotta figure this out. Is there anything over here? Like over here, here? I have a flash drive. Okay. 
so... Security locked door. It's probably where we got to use it. Oh, she's alive. She's having herself a wander. Maybe she could stay down this time. Which means these guys are probably going to come to life too. So let me save again. Oh, okay. Good to know. Try to remember that. So let's store that for now. And you're just decoration, I guess. No, I was trying to dodge you. I hear more of them coming. Really? I don't want to waste all my magnum, but goddamn, guys. Let's go up here first, because I don't know what's... I knew it. Whoa! You were right in front of me and I still can't hit you. There we go. Damn. So these are body experiment bags? That's creepy. Just want to make sure there's like no zombies hanging around down there before I get in between there. So I have two green herbs. And then some shotgun shells. There's still something here. Oh, this. Now it's good. Okay, let's go to the upstairs part first. like this room. Quarters are a little bit too close for me. Oh, Culture sample. sample. I'll definitely need this. <sighs> Thank you. 
Nice. Oh, okay. He's not coming back to life. Because see how his face looks kind of realish? Yeah. Oh, I like the music. I just noticed the music. <laughs> yeah, Resident Evil 3. Cat misses all Magnum shots. <laughs> Weaponry authorization request. Dear Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team may be made be made available for any employees inter interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. Oh, uh, so those are the white things. They've been appearing with regularity, but the specific cause has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. If any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, it would be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that in the event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration. Shipping and Processing Manager Ga Gabriel, Gabriel Reed, Gabriel Reed, Gabriel Reed. There's still something here. Okay, now it's blue. I hear you. Here we go. So the pale heads will die from magnum ammo, but not from any other standard weapons. Makes sense. So that's why they're staying down with Magnum. Fuck you. God fucking damn it. I can't believe I'm wasting all of these. <sighs> I'm so angry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy's totally coming back to life. I just kind of want to take you out now. Oh, okay. And goodbye. I think I need to make a stop at the yeah I gotta make a stop at the save point look at all their butts look at their butts they have, they have some butts just some butts Gonna make a stop back over here. Drop off some stuff. Okay. So we need more magnum, so combined with another high grade gunpowder to make magnum. Okay. That'll work. So we're gonna save. I'm not sure if the grenade launcher would be more efficient. I kind of want to save all of my, most of my grenade stuff for um, what I'm assuming will be a final um, Nemi encounter. 
which I'm sure is coming. There's a person there. Oh. Just double tap and make sure they're they're dead. Where's the ammo? Oh yeah, shotgun over here. Or no, acid. My bad. Trying to look and see if I can see anything. I see blood, but I don't see a body. That makes me uncomfortable. This must be what powers it. Okay. Just making sure no one's trying up, oh, see? Okay, hopefully you're dead dead. Check this. <sighs> and I'm back to being full of stuff again. Well, that sucks. Looks like an important room that I don't want to go in right now, so I'm gonna trek it back to the save room. Just to be on the safe side. It's not too far away. away and then we only have one high grade gunpowder so this and B makes more flame we can make more explosive I think we're okay with what we got Resident Evil series, where all we do is backtrack and solve puzzles. Absolutely. I'm trying to play it safe. That's what you do the first time you play through. You just play it safe. Because you never know. And then the second and third and whatever time around, you just fucking run and gun. You're like, fuck it, I know what's happening. <laughs> 